Hey people, welcome back to my channel. And by the way, you should go see Challengers. Tonight is a special night. I am going to pick up my friend Sarvani and we are going to go and see Challengers. It'll be my second time seeing it and her first time seeing it. So we can give you immediate after reactions of us seeing the movie. And yeah, I also want to talk to you guys about my opinions about the movie and why I thought it was so good. <laughs> we will do that after we go and see the movie. So let's go. Hey guys, what is up? So we are going to give you our honest immediately after review. Immediately after. Okay, I can't wait. Sarvani, are you excited? I'm excited. I don't know what it's about. I know that there's tennis and other things involved. Yeah, other things. I can't wait. Let's go do it. Sarvani has to readjust her parking because she parked like a maniac. Hey people. Hey people, we're back. We're back. We're back two hours later. Sarvani, first thoughts. What okay, did you think? really well shot. Everyone's so hot in this movie. So true. So attractive. And then I just really didn't understand what happened at the end. I thought I was on the same page with the movie and then I wasn't. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? That's the only confusing part. I, I, was, I was like, <laughs> the whole time I was like, wait, oh my God. I remember like my Just jaw was sex. open. My jaw was open. Yeah. She was hooking <laughs> in that movie. She was honestly, my husband's probably sitting at home like, I know, I'm like, dang. Damn. Rats. And they look like him too. I like know. white boys. Yeah, white yeah, men. seriously. <laughs> I don't oh know. Gosh. I really liked it. I would give it an eight out of 10. Period. I think yeah. I would give it an eight out of 10. Too. I would give it a nine if. I knew what happened at the end. Yeah, I Maybe think the second time definitely it watching it a second time like explains it a little bit more. A lot happens in that movie, but I thought it was really good. I thought the soundtrack was so The soundtrack was so good. I literally so was good. thinking like, I'm gonna put that soundtrack on while I run to Yeah, home. Zendaya's outfits were so cute yes, were. and I have to copy. Okay, her hairstyle, I'm taking it. Yeah, 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 I'm the braid. It, yeah. Also her bob, I was like, <laughs> When it was like crazy, I was like, I just wanna like. I know, I'm like, girl. I'm like, just go like this. <laughs> she needs some oil. <laughs> Wait, I need to look at fan theories now because now okay, yeah. I'm like, oh my god. There's a bunch of stuff about just like who actually is the master manipulator in it. And I th I feel like it's Tashi. Like, I feel I like. I also she... feel that. Also, he, like, Art wasn't a manipulator. He was just helpless. And, like, yeah, he was just like boy. so in love. Like, he literally was just like, beg he begged her. I know. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, like, you did. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and he knows his place. Yeah. <laughs> so team art, like Patrick was, he was weird. a jerk. He was a jerk yeah. and he was weird. And ratio and you're gay. And <laughs> I think he just wanted to finally beat her and make her be the submissive one for once. And mm -hmm. it just never worked. Yeah. And I, I don't even think he was necessarily like infatuated with Tashi like at all. I think he just wanted to like take something he wanted to win. from art. Yeah, he wanted to win. He just wanted to win. He wanted and to he win. he wasn't gonna win. Sorry. Sorry. Except who did win Exce the Except is there gonna be a Challengers 2 or are we gonna- Yeah, guys, go see Challengers. Go see it. Moral of the story, go see Moral Challengers. Moral of the story, go see Challengers. Bang. Hey guys, the rumors are true. I am back in Northern Virginia. School has ended back in my parents' house until I move into my apartment in DC for the summer. Yeah, you heard me right. Watch out for that vlog because I will be recording all of that. Me moving in and also being low-key scared of living by myself. Let's get right into this. I know this is a continuation of my last video clips of me when I was in Blacksburg. I want to talk about my thoughts and opinions of the movie and then kind of move into the discourse that I've been seeing online. Theories and opinions that everyone else has has, which are different from mine and therefore incorrect. To start off, I want to say that I'm totally open to having interpreted the movie incorrectly. So I'm going full Socratic circle with this. If you guys disagree, leave a comment down below. If you disagree, you're wrong, but leave a comment down below. I want to read all of it because obviously I'm super into this movie. Some of my favorite elements of the movie were the cinematography, um, when the camera is the ball and when they're playing and the camera's like looking up from the ground to like 
watch them play that was sick and anytime that like there were watching the crowd and like we're watching their head go back and forth as they are observing the game we'll see like tashi or art and patrick's like stare linger on one of the players and you can kind of tell who they're thinking about or who they're watching based on how they lag behind the rest of the crowd with their stare so period the soundtrack was amazing a lot of like house music like house beats but like synth pop one of my favorite music moments in the movie was the makeout scene in the hotel room Ooh, ooh baby the first time i watched that i was like the entire time ask my friend emily i was literally sitting there like i could not shut my jaw and I remember hearing the song that was playing in the scene and being like, what is this? But that song is Uncle Ace by Blood Orange. It's like the very end of the song. I'll obviously add it to my playlist. Um, I thought the acting was awesome. Zendaya is going to pull through playing a complicated character. I really, really liked that Mike Feist and Josh O'Connor were a little like kind of unknown actors. I have heard rumors since I saw the movie that they were trying to get Timothy Chalamet and Jacob Elordi to play Art and Patrick. And I just think that would have made it kind of cheesy and like less immersive to have like three super, super mainstream A-list actors. It would have lost some of its pizzazz, me thinks. Also when it comes to acting, Josh and Mike were so good. I was like, this is real. This is like so accurate to how I feel like boys would be in this situation. The scenes where they were like both flirting with her at the same time, I was like, oh. <laughs> Dude, I messed with it so heavy. The hotel room, like I said, one of my favorite scenes. Whenever I close my eyes, that is what is burned behind my eyelids. There were multiple things that like totally made me laugh out loud. I hate like Marvel comedy where it's like, bin a dun, win a win, win a win. And it's like, it's like such obvious comedy. And I'm like, eh. when it's almost like, is that funny? Like that's the kind of humor that I like in a movie. I loved the color palette in the movie along with the costume design was so good. Tashi's outfits were awesome both when she was young and when she was older. Athleisure wear is so huge in this day and age that like it kind of introduces like this whole new sector of that is like tennis fashion which like with pickleball becoming such a big thing I'm kind of like Okay, something to keep your eye on. Also, they did such a good job of making them look younger and then making them look older. Changing their haircuts. I felt like Art like totally changed his body. Kudos to Mike Feist for locking in with his trainer. When he's like, <laughs> when he's like sitting in his chair, like at the championship match and he's like, what are we doing? What was that? So that was everything I really liked about the movie and like the things that really stood out to me. I kind of want to get into where my thoughts might divulge from other people's and kind of my personal take on the movie. For me personally, how I feel about it is that Tashi was the villain of the movie, but not in the way that she was like doing something super objectively wrong. I just feel like some messed up stuff was obviously happening and there were definitely ulterior motives and I think Tashi was the one who was pulling the strings and having the insincere intentions. I don't think she loved either of them, not in the way that I think Art loved her. And you can kind of see that in a few different places in the movie, like in the cafeteria scene when Art and Tashi were talking about Patrick, Art then goes, I don't think Patrick loves you, which I think was Loki justified, but I'll get to that. And Tashi is just like, did I ever say I wanted him to love me? I never said I wanted him to love me. And I think that kind of like alludes to the whole fact that she's not really looking for like a boyfriend she's in love with tennis and she wasn't looking for the most loving guy she was looking for the best tennis player and that's why Patrick had gotten her number originally even though Art and Tashi arguably had more chemistry I feel like in the hotel scene I don't think that Patrick even really liked her because he said that thing in the churro scene where Art was like are you taking this seriously and Patrick was like well we're taking it slow like I like her but like obviously wasn't that invested in her and that kind of proves that like 
Patrick wasn't as serious as Art wanted to be with Tashi. And then kind of towards the end of the movie, explains the whole reason why Tashi said that if he didn't win the championship against Patrick, she was going to leave him. Also, they have a child together. Like, are you serious? Yeah, so I just kind of think that Tashi was a pretty messed up person, a messed up character, but I do kind of enjoy when movies do that, where they don't give a redemption arc to a character that is a bad person. Patrick and Art's relationship. Patrick was so obviously just in love with Art, like, the entire movie. And if you didn't catch all the ways that he was like totally flirting and head over heels for art, like I'm not gonna sit here and explain that to you. I honestly think that Tashi just like used both of these boys, particularly art. And that kind of leads to my art was the victim of this story. He was in love with her tennis skills, her attitude that she played tennis with. She had this passion for the game, a game that he also loved, but he also loved her as a person, I truly believe. But yeah, like, Genuinely, I could talk for a really long time. And if any of you guys want to talk, like, hit me up. Like, let's let's talk about it. But I just want to get across the fact that I am 100% team art. He was a little bit conniving when he was playing both sides, telling Patrick that Tashi wasn't serious about the relationship and telling Tashi that Patrick didn't love her. But I do think that it was kind of facts. Like, I don't think Patrick was really that serious about her and Art was, and I respect that. He was locked in from the beginning and he is absolved of all of his sins because he is handsome and because he just seemed like a good guy. So yeah, I think that Patrick was more open and comfortable with his sexuality while maybe Art did kind of feel something for Patrick, but I don't think he was really that into him. He was obviously way more into Tashi. And even if they had like this tension and this chemistry, like they obviously did kiss, he might've been suppressing something or I don't know. Let me know your takes about that, about Art and Patrick's relationship. Cause that's the part that I really kind of be like, there's something maybe that I'm missing, but I don't know. I literally have more to say and more reasoning for all of this, but I don't want the video to be super long. So please let me know what you think. I'm super into like the fan theories. So comment down below what you think. Thank you for watching. Obviously heart challengers. Do you think it's one of my favorite movies? Probably top 10 at this point. Love talking about movies. I love reviewing movies. If you have any movie recommendations, please leave them down below. Good quality cinema. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also head over and give me a follow on Instagram for a little bit more me. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.